Instead of assigning existing materials to our console table, we will make new custom materials. In the Manage tab, open the Materials dialog. On the right side, find the material named Wood and duplicate it. Name the new material Wood Table. Next, we can choose a new shading color. Finally, let's choose a surface pattern that resembles wood grains. When finished, we can select OK to create our new material. To apply the material, select the table and choose the new material as an instance property for the table frame. Once again, open the Materials dialog. Let's duplicate the material named Glass. Rename it Glass Table. Instead of choosing a shading color, go to the Render Appearance tab. Select Replace to open the Autodesk library. Now, let's find a desired render appearance and select it. Back in the Graphics tab, choose to use the Render Appearance for shading. Notice how this changes the transparency for us, as Revit automatically chooses shading settings that most closely resemble our Render Appearance. Select OK to create this material. Now, select the console table and change the Table Surface Instance property to our new material. Select OK to apply these changes. Open the Materials dialog in the Manage tab. Duplicate the material named Stone and rename it Stone Table. Instead of choosing a new color or picking a new render appearance, we will load in our own picture for a render appearance. Click on the name of the old image to open the browser. Next, we will find the file that contains our own material photos. Select a photo for our new render appearance. Adjust the finish by choosing Matte. In the Graphics tab, set the shading to use the render appearance. Click OK to create the new material. Finally, assign this new material to the table's pedestal. To see a more accurate representation of our table, we can change the visual style to realistic.